He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Well, syndicated uh, talk show host Raleigh James is our guest. You can check out her website, Raleigh.net, R-O-L-L-Y-E.net. You can hear her no matter where you are on XM Channel weeknights. 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Eastern, that's uh, 9 to midnight Central Standard Time, on Talk Channel 158. And uh, I was just on there with her last week. I remember being in college, and I'd bring my little radio with me out of the apartment uh, pool, me hanging out, talking to the college girls out there, uh, suntanning with uh, listening to Raleigh James, thinking what a great talk show sh- host she was. Back when... Uh, you know, you're talking early 1990s, right when Clinton got in about Clinton being a murderer and, and, and mean Arkansas and cocaine dealing. And let me tell you, you weren't hearing this anywhere on talk radio in the country. And, uh, the New World Order, and I'd already read about it and knew about it some. And, uh, I would say she added into the mix as, as instrumental in me going, yeah, I want to get on the air and talk about this stuff. And I was taking some RTF then and then got an access TV show and then the, uh, rest was history. But uh, it's great to have her on with us for the next 51 minutes. We'll take some calls later in the hour. I've got a bunch of news I want to cover with her. Uh, but, Raleigh James, good to have you here with us. It's an honor, Alex. Only for you would I wake up at the crack of noon. <laughs> uh, you are something else. You know, uh, you've know, you been doing talk radio for quite a long time, haven't you? Yeah, over 20 years exclusively talk and radio over 40 years. Wow, so you've been doing that since you were a uh, schoolgirl, basically. Uh, I guess, I guess yeah. Lim... Limbaugh's been doing it since he was like eight years old. Uh, Raleigh, uh, let's talk about, uh, well, I mean, so much is going on. If I was guessing, what are you going to bring up first? Because I haven't talked to you today. Uh, is it uh, the federal report saying the veterans and gun owners are the number one terror threat? Or is it the White House openly announcing they want to license all Internet reporters and basically shut the web down? Uh, or is it the IMF and World Bank saying we're in a depression? Uh, I mean, what's most important to you right now? Well, probably the thing that is always most important is the myth of the free press and why they want to continue that myth. And the folks who are thinking in terms of fairness doctrine, forget it. They are after the Internet, and the Rosa Brooks article that you have on Infowars.com is one tactic. They'll do anything they can, and I think that people are being led astray. For instance, I found the the coverage of of the Tea Party's interesting, and regardless of of what people think in terms of whether that worked, didn't work, who was there, whether it was well-intentioned, the issue is immediately it was brought up, oh, this is Fox News. And the fascinating part to me on that is that to a good degree, they believe every bit of it, and they want to make sure that the myth of the free press continues, that we don't have that coverage. They are much more afraid of you long-term than they'll ever be afraid of Fox News. Well, that's why Fox News is trying to act like us now. I mean, you've been talking about this a lot longer than I have, and accurately, and suddenly they're saying, oh, there's a new world order, there's a global currency, but don't worry, Rick Perry and the Republicans will save us when they're bought and paid for by the same people. So now that the Republicans are out of power, they can pose as the opposition, because, but that does show that now, though, that they know the opposition to the new world order uh, is there, so now a major party is trying to camouflage themselves like us. I mean, this is a threat and a danger, but isn't it also very positive that they're now having to uh, legitimize us? That is positive, but until we see any of the talking heads awaken and say they're Republicrats and Demopublicans and this is going on above it, and until they say, yeah, the Federal Reserve, we understand, but let's look at the BIS, the Bank of International Settlements, until they're on that level then really they're still a tool. Oh, by the way, it's back there in my office. You're like, Alex, of course you know about the International Bank of Settlements document where they admit in 2006 they were engineering this, and I said no, and then you emailed it to me, and it was off their website, and that's going to be in the new film, but that shows none of us know at all, or even half of it, so maybe we should cover that later. Uh, but, uh, yeah, these guys are right out in the open uh, about what they're doing. Uh, let's get into the Internet first, though. You had a caller on your show when I was on there a few days ago, and he said, I just don't believe you, Alex, that they could shut the web down or they're taking it over. And I said, I'm reading you the bill, sir, where they say they're going to make all the private companies have NSA hubs in them to be able to shut the web off. That's in the bill. Senator Jay Rockefeller says he wants it. And the guy just said, I can't believe you. They can't shut it down. And you explained to him they could, and they are moving towards that. Can 
Why do you think people, A, are in such denial, and B, do you want to explain to them, because I thought you did it really well, better than I would, how they can control the web and some of the different tactics they're using? Well, I think people are in denial because it's a very comfortable place to be. If you wake up, if you start to listen to your show, Alex, and you listen just for a week, unless you're fully brain dead, it has agitated you to the point to realize that your world is not as you think it, and maybe you'll have to get involved. And people don't want to get involved. So the first the first thing they want to do is shoot the messenger. Oh, if it's coming from Alex or if it's coming from Raleigh, then I don't have to believe it. So that's that's a human nature thing in terms of why they're there. But the most dangerous thing about uh, the plan, and it is a plan, and it will happen to control, if not shut down, control the Internet, which is very easy to do, uh, is the way it's been couched as free market decisions. When uh, Comcast was first wanting to differentiate traffic so that they could, in fact, manage bandwidth, it's, it's one thing to say we're going to limit the bandwidth overall. It's another thing to say a packet's not a packet, and we're going to decide what gets through more quickly. And this is the whole issue of net neutrality or not. When, when that came up, the Federal Trade Commission couched it in very Republican terms when uh, they said, well, this will be a free market decision. We're not going to get involved in the business practices. And uh, the term free market, that's very comfortable to many people, libertarians included. This is not a free market decision. This is about control. And in terms of how you control it, well, the Internet is not this amorphous thing with one little connection to you and one little connection to me the way some people believe that it's... Uh, it's a situation where it's more of this uh, amorphous grid. All of it travels through bigger pipes. And, in fact, when we were talking about the WorldCom bankruptcy and everybody talked about dark fiber, this is, this is at the heart of it. They weren't using it then. But the reality is you don't get from point A to point B on some little uh, spider web network. You're going over large pipes at some point. So all you have to do is moderate that pipe. You don't even have to shut it down, just moderate it. And anyone who doubts that, look at what's going on in Australia right now, or what's always been going on in China. Even for a Google, who in many ways is the enemy, for, for them to get into China, they have to agree, well, we're going to limit what you can see. And it can be done with a keystroke. And there's other stuff, you know, Google hid the most viewed videos and for a while took it off even their front page now they've announced oh we're going to be like hulu which is their right to do but now they're the big dominant system they built it on we're free we're open we're never going to censor you as long as it's your own content uh and you know it, and, and so the people built youtube and now they've gone back and they say oh we're going to make all the front pages now cbs and sony content and we're going to have one little link to pages that we want to show you of uh, uh you know uh, of uh, of the general public who have pages and so they decide who to promote and literally wall off and censor and knock down the view counters i mean you know we've had videos of millions of views and they'll just take our little uh uh ribbon away so we go off the main page and they now admit they're doing that youtube is is uh taking the u out of tube now Oh, of course. And, you know, you mentioned Google, and I, I do call them the Antichrist in many ways, but going back to your Rosa Brooks article on, on how to, uh, and how to, in fact, uh, foster newspaper readership, if you want to put it in, in the best terms, uh, Google, you've heard about their plan, uh, to, uh, promote localism. That no matter where you are, if you're looking for a news story, Google will only send you to your local paper. And uh, that type of a relationship can only be possible, again, if it's as easy as a keystroke to control. Well, remember, it's Yahoo and Google uh, who have been contracted by the Chinese government to help them run the filters. Google runs the filters for China. Rupert Murdoch and News Corp runs the filters to be there, and then that still wasn't enough for the Chinese government, and they've shut some of it down. But, you know, it's, it, it's, it's Yahoo turning over people in China sending emails to activist groups in the U.S., and then they're getting prison sentences or being executed, and Yahoo's proud of that. So, so, so to say they can't flip the same systems they've built on here is a fraud when they're even announcing for our own good they're going to be doing it. Absolutely, and the Yahoo thing was just horrendous. And, of course, major media gave that no play. But it's very simple to do, and actually it's the business model that they have long before the, the censorship issue in order for, like you were saying with your, your, uh, your films, and it's so right, in order for them to succeed, they're going to weight the content the way they want to. And it can be done very subtly. It doesn't have to be done in such an effort where people will be saying, oh, the bootstraps got us. 
They can be done much more subtly than that, and it is as manipulative as anything you're seeing out of major media. The real key and the golden part of the Internet is the net neutrality part, that if you put up InfoWars and I go there, I get there on the same route as if I go to Amazon or anyone else, and other than hub control, which I'll leave out. Uh, the issue is that we're all equal, and that is the thing that absolutely the government wants to tear down, and they will do it as a free market decision, and, of course, the Googles and the Yahoos will be the leaders behind it because it benefits them. Well, we have to fight this now because look how many crazy things are happening right now listeners who we thought couldn't happen before but it's happening the elite is collapsing the mainline newspapers are collapsing because nobody wants to read their crap uh the, the the tv cable ratings are down the system is in crisis uh the lies are coming out the alternative media is exploding and so the newspaper owners have conventions and admit and and, and that's what the obama uh, administration is saying let us start restricting free speech media get behind us doing this or you're not going to have a job uh, so you're going to have government and the media teaming up together against the new media. The establishment can't have us on air unseating them. They, I mean, they're not going to go without a fight. Now, that said, and I want you to talk about this and get your take on it. The people have had this taste, though, for alternative, for real variety. Uh, do you think they're going to be able to be successful in the long run, keeping people from this information now that they've had a taste of it? Depends how subtle they are at it. Everything they do is incrementalism, like they're taking it out of the Fabian playbook. But their greatest fear is that the myth of the free press will become, uh, in fact, unmasked. That we will know that uh, it's no longer, if it's in the New York Times, that it's legit. And they are going to do anything they can to keep the average person unaware of exactly what we're talking about. Well, Whatever they, they, exactly. They admit the Defense Department finances most of the TV and media, and it's all fake news. So there you go, discredited there.